You can now get ACF Pro for free, but not in the right way. I'm talking about WordPress.org and their repository where they forked off the advanced custom fields plugin. There's a lot of history behind that. And if you're not aware of it, you can go online and you'll find lots of commentary. Now, I am not biased towards WP Engine, ACF, WordPress, Matt Mullenweg or anything like that. OK, I am completely unbiased and independent in what I say. So you can get ACF Pro for free because a beta version of SCF, the secure custom fields where they forked off the ACF, you know, they kind of just took it from the GitHub or wherever and they made their own forked version of it. Well, now you can get a beta version 6.4.1 beta 2 and I'll put the link in the video description and I want to make a point about the links as well. OK, please don't think that I am overly supportive of this because I'm not and I want to kind of raise some concerns I do have. If you go and click that link and you now go and install SCF and you can see here where I had SCF on a test website and now I've gone and installed the beta version. If you now go over to your custom fields or your field group, you can now add in repeater fields. So a lot of options that before you had to go and upgrade to ACF Pro to get, you can now go get repeater. So I've got a field on here called you shitting on me. And you can go and add in your repeater fields, go to your post or your custom post type and now you've got it. Now let me get on to why I'm not overly happy about this approach. For all of the right or wrong reasons that WordPress decided to fork ACF in the first place, and by the way, I should mention that if you want to stick with ACF, you got to go to the Advanced Custom Fields actual website, go down to the footer, and you will then be able to go and download the plugin, especially if you want updates. Now SCF is probably going to be updating alongside that. What they've done is they've basically gone over to GitHub wherever and they've scraped it off, repackaged it, in quite a bad way because the URL for this still says advanced custom fields, but I'm going to come on to that in a moment. And then they gave you ACF free. Well, a lot of people like to use ACF Pro if you want to get the repeater fields and other functionality. So obviously WordPress weren't happy just staying low or sitting tight on that part. They've gone and scraped off the GitHub or the GPL in effect. I should be a little bit more clearer. They've gone and got the GPL version. Now here's where I see a lot of risk. Number one, they're giving you a GPL version and you can argue as much as you want about, well, it's OK to use GPL and it's not OK to use GPL nulled and all of that. And be very careful of what you download or use, especially if you go and pay someone for a GPL license. I don't always recommend it. But by taking a premium version of ACF, I think WordPress have hit an all time new low. And I know a ton of you are going to say we don't give a fucking shit what you think. We've now got ACF Pro for free. We don't have to have a premium model. WP Engine can take all of that. I'm happy as Larry. I'm now going to go build loads of websites, stick it on my CV and win loads of work. If all of a sudden, for whatever reason, how things play out in the legal system, morally, ethically, legally and all of that. And I know some of you are going to say, but WordPress can do this and they're entitled to do it and it's OK to do. Let me just give you a scenario. Our WordPress org or whoever, the people that have decided to do this and it won't just be Matt. There will be people who are, you know, pulling the wires and punching the numbers and making sure the logos look OK and everything feeds through. You know, there's a really rich ecosystem. They are scraping. OK, they are getting hold of whatever WP Engine or the ACF developers. And just think for a moment how they're going to feel about this. I can imagine because I know what it's like to do lots of work and see your work stolen. OK, I know what that's like. And, and I know, and I'm not saying it's theft or whatever, OK, because I don't want to start that whole legal argument. But imagine you are WP Engine, ACF, whatever, and you can now see lots of people either cancelling their licenses or whatever. And I don't recommend you do that. And they are now getting over this beta version, which eventually will probably be released soon or maybe never. Maybe this video is absolutely pointless and we're never going to see it out there. But let's just stay with this scenario. They're going to see loads of people using this forked version. Why should they keep developing? Because every time they develop and a version gets put out there, WordPress or whoever are going to go and get the GPL or whatever, however they do it. All right. I don't know exactly how they do it, but they do it and they get it. They might turn around and go, well, you know what? We've done our best. We've served the community. We put a lot of hard work and effort into it. No matter what you think about WP Engine or ACF, or any plugin out there, no matter what you think, 
someone somewhere is busting a back or bending over and then they are busting their back to get this out there. But what are you going to do? And I'm asking this question now, not just for people that support WP Engine or support WordPress or support Matt. I'm now asking this question to all of you in the WordPress ecosystem, even those that work for Automatic, even those that have said, well, we're not going to say what we're going to say because there have been a lot of people on the fence. They've kind of not actually revealed what they actually think because they don't want to, you know, rock the boat or anything. I'm asking all of you, imagine that WordPress, for their reasons, start to fork off premium and other plugins left, right and center. And you may be an owner of a plugin. And so far right now, you've kind of gone, well, WP Engine weren't making loads of money and they weren't contributing enough hours and whatnot and all of this and they should be funding more and etc. I'm asking all of you, what happens when premium plugins like WP Engine and ACF, this is probably the longest question I've asked in a most convoluted way. Just ask the bloody question. I'm getting to it. What happens when they stop developing and they just close shop on it and they go, right, that's it. We're done with it. Because of everything that's happening, we're done with it. You know, we're really sorry, community. We've given you the best there is. We're done with it. A lot of you that don't fully appreciate evolution and development are going to go, so what? I got ACF Pro via SCF. I'm totally happy. What happens when there is a vulnerability or WordPress goes to version 7? or Elementor, or Bricks, or loads of Gutenberg, or loads of things develop, 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 right? But ACF Pro, because it has been forked off to this GPLE version, still contains the code as of a point in time. And it is no longer being updated. And anyone that out there goes, well, it shouldn't be a problem, let me tell you now. Every time WordPress updates, other plugins have to make sure that they are in line. Every time Elementor updates, you've got to have the add-ons update. Every time Bricks updates, there might be Bricks update uh, add-ons as well. And I don't just mean them. I'm talking about Breakdowns, Gutenberg, Quickly, all of these other things, right? Even Etch, right? Kevin Geary, are you watching? At some point, right, you know, what happens if, and I bet you've been thought about this, Kevin, and I'm not picking on Kevin, by the way. Hi, Kevin. But I'm talking about every premium developer plugin out there when your solution is forked, what are you forking gonna forking do about this forking problem? Because I see this as a long-term problem, okay? Um, if you want, I, I'm, I'm popping the link in the video description because I don't want to hide anything, okay? I want to be fully transparent. So if you want to go and get it and roll and rock with it, go for it. I don't intend to do that. I seriously don't. Because I respect the fact that premium products deserve to get paid. Because if you look at history and where products, movies, music, whatever, get ripped off left, right, center and pirated and whatever, when they suddenly say, we're not going to make a sequel because our movie was pirated so much we did not make profit, you kind of go, oh, but I want a sequel. Well, they're not going to do the sequel for you. If you've got a favorite toy or product, if people are ripping them off, whatever, and there's a cheaper version that people would prefer to go and get because they don't want to pay the corporate economy, and then they, the corporate economy, whatever, stop developing that product, everyone whinges and complains. Why have you not updated? Why have you not done this for me? Because people aren't buying into it. And if you don't buy into something, eventually they stop updating it. And then you will whinge and complain. I would love to speak to someone from WordPress or Matt. Matt, you know I've reached out to you many, many times, okay? I keep, we keep, you keep saying you want to do an interview, but you won't then do the interview. Like we, I keep saying to you, what date is good for you? And you just won't get back to me. I would love to speak to someone. And like I said earlier, at some point in this video, if you work for Automatic, do you think this is a good move where we now start forking off like the premium side of a plugin? Look, like I said, we could argue all day long about should they have done it to ACF in the first place? And there's right and wrong and there's twos and froms. You know, there's loads of stuff. To and froms. That doesn't even make sense, does it? But there's so many different sides of the coin. Should they have done ACF? 
But when you go into ACF Pro, we just entered a new battlefield. Like, clear the troops. Clear the landscape. You better get your Dungeons and Dragons cards out, people, because we are heading for warfare here. Probably not warfare. That's probably exaggerating it. I do exaggerate a bit and get overexcited. And it's Sunday morning for me. I was not planning to do a recording. I was planning to go and do other stuff, but hey ho, this has happened. I also want to say a big thanks to uh, David McCann, other people on Twitter as well, that uh, they've done uh, videos or they've done articles and stuff. Well, not articles, but they've posted stuff where they've discussed this and what's happening. So thanks for raising and bringing attention to this. But this is just my tuppence about what I think. If you work for Automatic, what's your thoughts? If you work for a WordPress plugin, what's your thoughts? If you support WP Engine, what's your thoughts? If you support Matt, what's your thoughts? If you support WordPress, what's your thoughts? If you don't give a shit, stick it in the comments. We need to have a healthy debate. I am not biased. I have never been employed, solicited, or done any promotional work or sponsored work whatsoever ever for WordPress or Matt. I want to make that clear. I've never done it for WP Engine or ACF either. I do cover advanced custom fields in the courses and stuff I put out there and YouTube videos because a lot of people do, but I've covered other pods and things as well. So I am not been paid for to do any promotion and I have no allegiance. What I do, because I do have a law degree, I have worked in the NHS, I have supported and worked with lots of people, mentoring and whatever, not just in the website design world or anything like that. I have managed departments and trained people. But when I see someone being picked on or manipulated or superiority complexes is kicking and they like to make someone, you know, feel uneasy and anxious, I don't like it. And Oh man, I think I'm done. I'm going to go now. My name's Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Please, please, please keep it healthy, okay? Don't go, don't, you know, make it personal. Don't make accusations, even though I've probably made a load here. Don't, you know, make it, you know, nasty or anything like that. Healthy, healthy debate. I'd love to see your comments. Take care, see you soon, bye. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time for the pain.